Hello everyone, welcome back to the Popsicle Night channel. My name is Joseph and today I'll be showcasing Beedrill from Vivid Voltage. But before that, I want to first thank you for taking the time out of your day to check out this video. Please click the like button if you like this video, hit the thumbs down if you don't. Either way, it actually helps me out in getting this video to more viewers like you. Also, please consider subscribing to this channel if you haven't already and feel free to share this content. So let's get started. So for today, I'll be experimenting on Beedrill from Vivid Voltage. Beedrill is a stage 2 Pokemon with 130 HP. With just one attack for one grass and one colorless, Sharp Sting will do 120 base damage. This one is very straightforward as an attacker and 2 energy for 120 damage is pretty decent in my opinion. However, its ability Elusive Master is what makes it unique. So basically, if this Pokemon is the only card left in your hand, you can play it straight to your bench without having to go through your basic Pokemon or evolution. And then if you do this, you can draw 3 cards. This is really good for those clutch moments when you start relying on your top deck or if you're against opponents that disrupt your hand. But you do have to keep in mind that this has to be the only card in your hand and you have to have space in your bench. And that's what makes this one kind of a bit awkward to use. But if you do end up with an empty hand, you can use Turfield Stadium which lets you get one grass evolution Pokemon from your deck. So this way you can find Beedrill in your deck, put it in your hand, and then you can use Elusive Master that way. Then you get to draw three cards. So this can be a very helpful support given the right situation. It is worth noting that Beedrill does not have any retreat costs, so make sure you take advantage of that. I am only using two Beedrills in this build with no pre-evolutions. This time around, I have chosen Rillaboom VMAX as one of the main attackers of this deck. I haven't really showcased Rillaboom VMAX in my channel yet, so I thought this was an appropriate time to do it. First off is Rillaboom V. It has 220 HP with two attacks. The first one is Forest Feast. For one grass energy, you can search your deck for two basic grass Pokemon and put them onto your bench. The second attack is Wood Hammer. For three grass and one colorless, it will do 220 base damage, but then it will do 30 damage to itself. For its evolution, Rillaboom V Max. It has 330 HP with two attacks. The first one is very basic. For one colorless energy, Scratch will do 50 base damage. And its second attack, for three grass and one colorless energy, Max Speeding will do 130 base damage. You can also choose to discard one, two, or three grass energy from this Pokemon. And for each energy you discard, you can add 50 more damage to your attack for a maximum of 280 damage with no other modifications. So you can technically KO any Tag Team GX Pokemon in the game. Rillaboom VMAX is pretty strong, but having that 4 energy requirement for the attack and then you have to discard energy makes this card a lot harder to use in my opinion. I will only be using 2-2 two, two line of Rillaboom VMAX. To help us energize, our Pokemon is a stage 2 Rillaboom with the Voltage Beat ability. Once during your turn, you may search your deck for up to 2 grass energy and attach them to one of your Pokemon. This will be the engine of this deck, so make sure you don't let this one get knocked out. But since this Rillaboom is a stage 2, I thought it would be helpful to include Rowlet and Alolan Executor Tag Team GX with the attack Super Growth in this deck. For no energy, you can completely evolve any one grass Pokemon in your bench, as long as you have all the evolution cards in your deck. So you can use this attack to set up your Voltage Speed Rillaboom right away. And this one also has a pretty cool GX attack. Tropical Hour GX will do 200 damage. But if you have 6 Grass Energy on it, your opponent shuffles all energy from all their Pokemon into their deck. So this is a very powerful disruptor. Next up, I also have 1 Celebi Amazing Rare as a 1 Energy Attacker. And for consistency, I have 2 Gormandai Snorlax as our drawing engine for this deck. As for the other cards worth noting, Tool Scrapper can remove Big Charm or Cape of Toughness, keeping our opponent's HP within the knockout range of Rillaboom VMAX attack. Brock's Grit is also important in getting discarded energy back into our deck, and Rose to energize Rillaboom VMAX, and this is also good at emptying our hand. And if you have Turfield Stadium in play, you can get Beedrill, allowing you to play it using its ability. And also Vitality Band to increase attack. As for energy, I have 2 Aromatic Energy, which can prevent our Pokemon from being affected by any special condition, and 2 Weakness Guard Energy, especially when we face off against Fire-type Pokemon. The only thing with Grass-type decks nowadays though, is because there's so many top-tier Fire decks and also so many Metal Pokemon that has Grass Resistance, Grass-type decks just can't compete well enough in the meta right now. But regardless, this deck packs a punch and will put up a good fight. And that's pretty much it, the deck list will be in the description below. But enough talk, let's have some fun and see some gameplay. 
All right, let's choose heads. We lose. And we are going to go second. Okay. So just a heads up, this is actually my preliminary build. Um, I have the Dene GX in this uh, deck and also Crobat V and no Snorlax. Um, but I, I played often enough where I always get the, um, the Dene GX and Crobat as my only basic. Like this one. <laughs> uh, and um, it, it just messes up uh, the whole strategy because you, you end up uh, losing a turn or two and since we have to build up the Rillaboom um, vi uh, Voltage Beat um, It gets us an extra uh, Turn to build up everything so uh, I and I, I usually end up losing because of the one turn so uh, instead I will be replacing um, that I think instead of Tedene and Crobat I'll be using um, Snorlax Gorman dies instead because even if we get that as the basic at least we'll have that drawing power um, Continuously anyways our opponent is actually using a leaky leaky uh, Deck which is very disruptive um, And I, I like I like creative decks like that. So um, Let's see how we how we deal with this. So I'm gonna use uh, quick ball here get rid of the tool scrapper and I'm not sure let's see I think we can start building up uh, Grookey into voltage bit uh, voltage beat Rillaboom um, I think that's that's probably the most ideal because whatever Pokemon we play uh, for the rest of this game will depend on um, that Rillaboom to give it energy so uh, Brock's Grit is not an ideal support card to have at the very beginning. Uh, usually that's what we use late game and you don't want to discard this uh, card. Um, okay, they Marnia, so that'll get us a better hand, I hope. Yeah, so Brock's Grit is late game because once you just start discarding all of those um, energies, you would want it back in your deck. Uh, because Rillaboom VMAX does consume a lot of um, energies. Alright, so they're gonna switch into their Gormandai Snorlax and end their turn that way. So for the meantime, uh, we don't have Rare Candy, unfortunately. What we might want to do is just Pokecom this one and uh, we can get Rowlet actually. Switch it and then evolve into Voltage Beat Rillaboom right away. Or we can get Crobat, get three, but we're, we're not we're not gonna be sure of what we pulled that way. And we could just end up uh, losing our turn. So I think uh, Rowlet Executor Tag Team is the best option here. Uh, we can switch into the active. And then uh, we can we can evolve Grookey into Rillaboom. So Super Growth. And there's Thwacky. And then we do have a Rillaboom voltage beat in our deck. So um, I'm trying to get into the habit of checking everything in my card, make sure, in my deck, make sure I have what I need. So now it's fully evolved. We can even use Rowlet Executor Tag Team GX to attack our opponent. Okay, uh, Crushing Hammer, typical of a Licky Licky deck. Because Licky Licky actually discards an energy from uh, our active. Uh, discard a random card from our hand and also the top deck uh, so a very very disruptive card um, I do have four line of that and maybe I could show showcase that uh, one of these days as well I do want to experiment and see how um, see how uh, I like the, the deck but uh, for the meantime our opponent will gormandize uh, we do have an energy to attach on our Rowlet and then we can um, we can voltage beat. For now, this is the great, a uh, good chance to actually showcase our beat drill. So we Pokecom uh, Rillaboom V, and you play it as a item or support card, and then Elusive Master will get us to draw three cards. So we also have Turfield Stadium all set up for us. Um, we don't really need it right now, so I'm just gonna voltage beat here, and 
energize our Rowlet executor tag team and probably just knock out this um, Snorlax for 150 damage okay so that'll that'll get us one uh, prize card we do get a vitality band uh, vitality band um, you know Liki has 130 HP um, we can actually start using Beedrill here um, okay crushing hammer they succeed but that's okay we have voltage beat rillaboom to keep energizing our pokemon um so beedrill uh, beedrill actually pairs nicely with voltage beat rillaboom because uh, the two energy that you get from the deck uh, fully energizes our beedrill uh, so you can start attacking okay so they use team Yell grunt putting um our energy card back into our hand which is okay uh, it doesn't really matter what we could do in our next turn if this Licky Licky does not um, discard or uh, discard our okay <laughs> so we're safe they discarded a Marnie and a energy from our Rowlet so what we're gonna do is um, we can attach no you know what we don't really need to um, let's put this vitality ban on Beedrill uh, we're gonna Malo and Lana discard these two, put Beedrill in the active, and then we can use Turfield Stadium. Oh, we don't have the other Beedrill, unfortunately. I was gonna. <laughs> uh, that's okay. Um, let's Voltage Beat two energies on Beedrill. So there, uh, again, it fully energizes Beedrill, and we're able to hit 430 uh, exactly. Uh, knocking out the Leaky Leaky with 130 HP. So uh, this is a really nice showcase of Beedrill, I think. Uh, we're actually able to use it as an attacker uh, this time around. Um, at least uh, we can um, incorporate it as an attacker in our deck. So you know what, when you are facing off against um, other opponents and maybe you need that chip damage for 120, <laughs> the chip damage of 120 damage, we can definitely use Beedrill as a one prize or attacker and then even if they knock it out our opponent only gets one prize off of that and then your other stronger opponent uh, stronger Pokemon can finish off um, your opponent so our um, our opponent is actually uh, targeting our Rillaboom which is not good um, that's actually um, the best thing that they could do if they eliminate our Rillaboom that's gonna be it for us um, Unfortunately, uh, we don't have any other options here. Uh, what we could do is voltage beat. Let's see. Um, I don't know if I should voltage beat Rillaboom here, but yeah, we it's gonna get knocked out in the next turn anyways. I don't think it's a good idea. So um, I think I'm just gonna pass here, even if they knockout Rillaboom we do have uh, another chance of setting up another one but we do have Beedrill as our, our attacker so we should be okay we have four energies in our discard pile right now and we are down with three energies so I don't want to waste that three energy uh, we might have to use it for our Rowlet and Executor GX uh, for the meantime our opponent uh, used uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, they used boss's order to boss our Beedrill back into the active for some reason. I'm not sure why. Uh, but yeah, they used their uh, Mewtwo to get that um, boss's order. And I don't know why they did that, but that's okay. Um, that <laughs> that's good for us. That sets us up. But now our opponent doesn't have any energies. Uh, and that's... With the Licky Licky or like, oh, we can put this aromatic energy on Rowlet Executor. We can use um, Voltage Beat to fully uh, energize it to start attacking. But for the meantime, we will chip damage this uh, Crobat V. And if we do knock it out, we do get to a two price card off of that. Our opponent is going to use Crushing Hammer. And they succeed, but we can just put one energy in our next turn. 
Um, so with Licky Licky, they are using special energies like twin energy and uh, triple acceleration. Um, that's the same thing with. Okay, so they pass it on to us. They don't have anything. I'm just gonna use uh, Quick Ball here. We can get our Crobat. We can play that. We can get six cards. Alright, cool. So we got a lot of options. We can use. So we have five energy. We can probably use um, Brock's Grit. Yeah, let's use Brock's Grit instead of the Rod. We'll get five and then we'll get this Rillaboom. So if we do need to set it up, um, yeah, that, that's perfect. Now we can set up another Rillaboom in case they target uh, the one on our bench. So what we can do here is just use this weakness guard energy that will conserve our um, grass uh, energies and we can ordinary rod the VMAX into our deck so we can start using it if we need to and we'll just knock out this crowbat B and we get two price card for that there's our Beedrill which is really cool but yeah Beedrill has been the <laughs> the hero of this uh, uh, this game so far which is really nice I, I've been meaning to have Beedrill as uh, the main character uh, in one of my videos uh, from Vivid Voltage so it doesn't act as it doesn't just act as a supporter but you can also use it as a uh, attacker so really nice but um, yeah with this Leaky Leaky uh, deck you always want to check uh, how much um, energy special energies they've used up especially the triple acceleration uh, so if they've used up all four they can't use it again uh, twin energies will stick with the licky lickies like that one and so that one can continue to attack but B drill has 130 HP so we should be fine we can tank one hit before it gets knocked out um, on its second uh, damage so we should be fine we should we could Eliminate this one uh, and then before it gets knocked out by the next one. But at least we'll have Rowlet Executor on our lineup and we can uh, knock out the, the next Leaky Leaky. So, and we have two energies on our um, on our hand right now. So even if they discard one energy from Beedrill, we can just re-energize it. So they're using up Mewtwo uh, and just putting up all these uh, support cards back on the top of their deck um, let's see uh, so okay they're gonna shuffle everything we do have to at least we still have um, okay that's fine <laughs> okay <laughs> they reset stamp us and then they're gonna Marnie all right that's fine all right so we get uh, Grookey and they're just gonna attack our B drill. So with the Marnie though, that actually helps us out because we now have, uh, even if they discard one of the energies, we have one extra on our hand to put on our B drill, knock out this Licky Licky, and be on our merry way. Uh, let's see, we can Marnie. Wait, hold on. Um, Uh, let's set up Grookey here just because if they do end up knocking out our Rillaboom, we can get another line going just in case. Um, so now we can let's see. There's not much I really want to do, so I'm, I think I'm just going to knock out this Licky Licky and go with that for now get another energy we're getting all these energy so it's fine so even if they knock out our drill here we have another energy we have a lot more energies on our hand um, to just attack we need one more price card anyway so uh, it doesn't matter who they put in the active um, we can if they knock out our drill, we could just uh, use the GX attack of our tag team here and uh, knock out any Pokemon that they put in their active so 
let's see what else they do maybe they have something else uh, set up but yeah I mean if they even if they end up bosses uh, using bosses order for example to get our Alolan um, tag team Rowlet in the active discard an energy but then Beedrill will survive and still be able to not get out um, so I I think we got this game uh, I don't think there's anything any other options uh, for our, po our opponent so they're using up their support uh, for their turn uh, by using Marnie and they do get their triple acceleration but like I said uh, that's gonna be it because uh, our tag team will just do 150 damage uh, knocking out this licky licky so for the meantime though I think I'm just gonna put the NIGX here I wanna see if I can get another um, B drill in play uh, for science so bear with me guys let's see there's our B drill there's really no way we can discard our hand right now so let's see uh, we'll use rare candy to evolve into Rillaboom um, yeah there's really no way we can keep that bench open so we'll just have to just finish up our opponent here let's just use voltage beat get two energies on our tag team and then we'll just calming hurricane for the knockout getting us our last prize card so good game gg star opponent all right so with this build i am using snorlax gormandice now um, i feel like it's a little bit more optimal with um uh, rather than using the dyna gx or crobat v although you can mix and match those if you have room in your deck but for the meantime um i'm doing without the dyna or crobat v so uh, in this case we do start up with um Snorlax, Gormandize, and also Rillaboom V, which is really nice. Alright, so let's put Snorlax in the active. And we're going to put Rillaboom in the bench. So we have Zamazenta V as our opponent. Uh, opponent's active. Um, we'll attach one energy on Rillaboom V. Get rid of that to use our Quick Ball. And we will set up our Grookey and um, Voltage Beat Rillaboom. And we're just going to Garmin Dice here, getting us more cards. And we do see Celebi on our hand. So the thing with Grass-type decks, um, I have, I have um, battled with the Luc Lucario and Melmetal uh, tag team and Zacian deck and the defense was just too overwhelming and I couldn't even get a dent on that deck with using this Rillaboom uh, VMAX so uh, like I said I think grass types against metal or even fire um, is just overwhelmingly <laughs> sad to see the matchup um, but uh, I think uh, that's why one of the things, one of the reasons why um, grass type decks don't see a lot of play because there's just too many uh, meta against grass types. So, but for now, we used uh, Cynthia and Caitlyn just to draw us uh, three cards. Unfortunately, I should have actually waited uh, before evolving into Thwacky because now we got our rare candy and Rillaboom. Although there was no, there was no saying that we would get those two and in the in that draw anyway. So. Uh, you know what? I made a decision and we'll go with it. Uh, but since we do have Rillaboom, um, we do have the Voltage Beat Rillaboom in our hand. I think I'm just going to use um, this tag team to evolve into our Rillaboom VMAX. We will need a lot of uh, firepower, at least a huge amount of damage against our, our opponent because they are using metal metal type decks and um, again the resistance is gonna be overwhelming especially if um, they end up playing 
uh, Lucario and Melmetal um, in this in in their in their deck. And there goes another Crashing Hammer, and they do succeed. Um, yeah, that's the thing about Crushing Hammers. It's RNG based, and you you basically rely on RNG uh, with your with your deck that way, and it it requires little um, strategy um, when it comes to that. Although you know what, the whole game revolves around RNG as well, because depending on what you draw, depending on what the, your opponent draws, it could be a game winning thing or it might not. So you know, it's all it's a whole. It's a part of the whole game, I guess. All right, so our opponent will just attack. Zemazenta gets a um, big charm, which will make it a lot bulkier. So we're gonna have a hard time uh, knocking it out for sure. Um, see, Rowlet and Executor uh, will survive one more hit if they happen to attack with Zemazenta. Um, I think all we can do is energize and we could attack with it. You could do some chip damage on this Amazenta and we could just finish it off. Um, we'll just use Ordinary Rod to get two energies back. We have nine. So we'll put two energies on Rowlet. Um, and we're just gonna hit normally and we'll heal 30 um not sure i don't think you know we we still won't be able to survive another attack after this one but at least at least we were able to do some some hefty amount of damage on this zemazenta so what we could do is use quick ball um and get rid of that we don't really need that right now can get another grookey we can start setting up another rillaboom maybe we can get a lot of energy um yeah we'll have to start setting up um that rillaboom for sure but for now i'm just gonna attack again we will get knocked out in this turn, so our opponent will get three prize cards for that. But, um, but then Rillaboom won't be able to. Rillaboom won't be able to um, attack it just yet. But this is where Celebi comes in. So with that three energy, it's uh, Celebi is gonna be doing 90 damage, uh, but with resistance it will do 60. So it should be enough to knock out this Zamazenta. So uh, that's what we're gonna do. We'll get two prize cards off of that. Uh, we can use this Pokecom to get ourselves a Beedrill, so we can draw three cards, and we can use Beedrill as uh, chip damage uh, later on. We do have. Brock's grid, but first let's use Turfield Stadium so we can start setting up our secondary um, Rillaboom Voltage Beat. That way we can energize, fully energize uh, Rillaboom V Max if we need to, because it does require four energies. Um, we can put that there. We can Voltage Beat um, one energy. You know what? We should have done it the other way around. We could have. Just attach that energy on Celebi and Voltage Beat um, Rillaboom V Max, but that's fine. So we do get our Rillaboom um, evolution on our bench. Uh, I mean, on our hand from our prize card. Um, I didn't want to use Brock's Grit in a previous turn because there's um, minimal energy on the discard pile yet, so I don't want to uh, waste that extra energy that we can. Uh, shuffle back into our deck if we need to so with their zation v um if let's see rillaboom v max definitely will survive and we can knock it out so they don't have any boss sword or anything like that and they'll just knock out celebi 
And that's that's one of the reasons why I actually included Celebi in this deck. Because that one energy for that hefty amount of damage is pretty good. So what we can do here is just evolve. So now we can get a lot of energies on our Rillaboom VMAX. So we have five. That'll leave us with uh, two left. I'll just use one. And let's see. We can use Brock's Grit in our next turn. Because we, we, we will um, discard these energies. Max beating 130. Minus 30, so that's 100. Um, yeah, we will have to discard all three energies just to knock out the Zacian. Uh, normally, for uh, our opponents, our Pokemon that doesn't have resistance, you you can you only use you can use just one or two uh, energies to discard, and you just knock it out. But uh, again, with the resistance, it's just too much. So just imagine with Luke Metal, and then if they have Metal Goggles, <laughs> uh, there was no way I could. No, there's no way this deck can win against uh, Luke Metal, uh, Zacian. Um, combo yeah the defense are just too high and there's it's just it's just too much so imagine that being a tier one and we're fighting off with this uh, deck it's it's not pretty but um, for now let's see we can use boss's order uh, unfortunately we only have two energies um, we needed that Brock's Grit, but they shuffled it with that stamp, unfortunately. So there's nothing much I, we can do here. We can do some chip damage with uh, B Drill. That way, uh, we can. You know, we'll only be losing one prize card. But the thing is. Okay is we can't get our Rillaboom out of the active so that's another thing with Rillaboom it has such a high uh, retreat cost with three and it's just very annoying I, I feel like they they really downgraded Rillaboom V Max um, you know uh, the other starter Pokemon I'm just gonna chip damage here that's all I could do the other starter Pokemons are pretty good, you know. Inteleon, <laughs> it has a lot of text on its uh, attacks. You can uh, remove energy, and you can attack the bench, and you only need three energy. Uh, and then you got um, Cinderace, but Rillaboom, I don't know what, what, what they did with this one. So they were able to attack with Zacian V, 230. So we will lose this game uh, with just one more attack. If they have a switch and then retreat. So what we need is Brock's Grit, man. So we em we were able to empty out our hand. We'll use... <laughs> There's our Brock's Grit! Yes! So we will be able to get all these energies, voltage speed, and we will be able to knock out this Zacian for the win, guys. <laughs> That was clutch. So B drill, B drill is awesome, man. You can get your cards when you need it. Elusive Master B drill could definitely be a good support, especially on a grass deck. And Rillaboom V Max is a powerhouse, being able to knock out almost all GX tag teams in the game. These cards are definitely a must try. And that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please, please, please don't forget to smash that like button. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And please consider subscribing to this channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching and as always, stay safe and have a great day.